Um, welcome to a webinar with the Sempre Group, and it's titled How CT Scanning is Changing Manufacturing Inspection. Um, we have a number of people obviously still floating in. We had, this is actually our highest attendee in terms of a webinar. We had just over 100 people actually attended um, in terms of registered. Um, we are going to record the session, so don't worry if there's any lag issues or any issues. It's all going to be recorded and to be shared with everyone who's registered as well. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes just to introduce you to the Sempre Group and our role within the business um, in terms of Ireland and the UK and how we can support you um, within both of them territories. Okay, so um, the Sempre Group, first and foremost, we are an independent supplier of globally uh, trusted metrology products, service and solutions. So what does that mean? And um, there are some fantastic metrology companies out there that provide products and services. But the business model that the Sempre Group represents is what makes it attractive to customers. OK, so all of you that are on this call, we are not interested in pushing products or solutions. Yes, we're going to talk about CT scanning as a solution um, for your manufacturing process today. But our ethos is to understand what is your measurement challenge or what is your measurement strategy you'd like to move towards? What's your pain points in terms of measurements within your manufacturing process? And through our portfolio, which is unmatched in terms of its diversity and innovation, we can find the optimal solution for you. OK, so we have 20, 23 partners globally, and we tend to leverage them in terms of the different solutions and the best solution for our customer. In terms of delivering solutions, then, it's really important. We're not just, you know, get, get making you in contact with different partners. We are your single point of contact. So within the UK and Ireland, we pride ourselves on providing the solution in terms of the technical ability, and then also installation, calibration, training, and ongoing support via contract measurement, contract programming, and so forth. So we pride ourselves at the single point of contact to provide you a solution and after sales support as well. Okay. There's 42 people in the business, and three of them full-time employees are based here in our Dublin facility, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Okay. It's all well and good me saying some words for the next the next 30 minutes or so, um, but our accreditations speak for themselves. Uh, we're ISO 9001 accredited. We're also ISO 17025 uh, accredited, so calibration testing. Um, and also our vision systems are ISO 10360 accredited. So that's highly credibility in terms of the measurement capabilities. And our software solutions are 21 CFR Part 11 compliant. So those in the medical device space, that's a data integrity conversation, which is a very hot topic. OK, and we're UCAS accredited to them as well, which is really important in terms of our weight and credibility in the market. We opened up the Ireland premises in uh, March 2021, so just over about a year and a half ago. Um, it's been a massive success. I think it's reflective of people attending this webinar, both in the UK and Ireland, have interest to see what's going on. And um, we've 180 square meter premises here in the Dublin facility. Um, we have customers coming in week in, week out um, to see some of the innovative equipment that we have. But ultimately, customers are coming with parts or a drawing or something that they have a challenge with. And actually, we are then sitting down with the customers and liaising with them, looking at the equipment, looking at the problem that they have, seeing is it applicable and ultimately having a good technical discussion. OK, so I encourage anyone who's on this call, be it the UK or Ireland, don't hesitate to call into the UK office in Gloucester where the headquarters is or even if you're based in Ireland, to call up to the facility in Dublin, okay? But the investment in the Ireland facility is an intent for us to provide local support, be it metrology experts, service engineers, applications engineers, and to provide that locally and with a quick reaction time as well, okay? So this brings us to uh, why we're here today, okay? So CT scanning. Um, I talked about the title in terms of what we look at, its influence in the manufacturing inspection process. Um, but I do want to do a bit of an education for the people on the webinar. There's a wide range of people who you know, are quite green on uh, CT scanning, what it means. And then there's some people who have CT scanners and want to understand well, what can this machine do more than the, what they currently have, so process improvements. But essentially, the Sempre Group teamed up with Orex Solutions based in France, so a very great, good company um, within the EU in France. Um, CT, uh, Oryx Solutions is going to partner up with Sempre Group, and behind me here is obviously a CT scanner from uh, Oryx Solutions called the Easy Tom S150. Okay. The objective is to provide two things. As I said at the beginning, the Sempre Group provides products and services. Okay. So the product is a CT scanner. So maybe you want to procure a CT scanner, but you're not sure yet. Well, I hope today will actually give you some confidence in relation to that process. Or you might say, Jason, I actually have this part. I'd like to get it scanned as a one-off. 
or a, few, a low volume of parts. And we can do the CT scanning services as well. OK, so that's really important. Contract measurement and also the solution. We provide both. OK. OK, so what is computer tomography? There's a number of different markets that it serves, but essentially it's an X-ray source at the end of the day. What does that mean? So here's an image they actually put up in LinkedIn there recently. Um, as a person who has a 10 week old baby, um, I, I can relate to this. I'm sure there's people on the call that can relate to this. We have a contract measurement job at the minute and we're actually scanning these samples. And the point I'm trying to make here is computer tomography is exactly the same as you would have in a hospital, but this is an industrial version. It's an X-ray source at the end of the day. And I will show you a little bit about the machine internally in a few minutes, OK? But the markets in which we serve is quite diverse. I put up a list of different markets there, but it's not even limited to them. I'm no doubt everyone here can relate to some of them bullet points. As I said, it's an X-ray source in the day, so you can penetrate parts internally and externally. So you can create a 3D profile of that surface. So very quickly, you can see there in the bottom left-hand image, you can see actually inside a vial. So that's really important. Very quickly, you can section a part and see within it using the X-ray source. Maybe you have some voids or porosities or defect analysis that you have within your samples. So I have a number of customers that come to me with cast iron samples or aluminium samples or steel samples and actually say, Jason, look, we have cracks or voids within the materials. Can you have can you do some analysis to identify where they are? What size are they? What's the volume of them? Are they you know, accumulating together to create a crack or a void within the, within the material? So really powerful in terms of its capabilities and what you can see. And a word you'll hear me mention a number of times throughout this presentation is visualization. OK, it's really important. There's a load of good systems out there across the globe in terms of measurement systems, but a lot of them are data driven. It's a number. This is really visualization. So seeing the data uh, digitally. What I'm going to do today in a few minutes, the top right hand corner, you can actually see a 3D point cloud of this actual part. It's aluminium, quite a big part, uh, about 100 millimeters in diameter. Um, but I'll actually scan that part live in a few minutes, but to give you an idea of the resolution in the top right hand corner. OK. Additive manufacturing, I get a lot of inquiries from additive manufacturing, be it additive manufactured assembled parts or even complex parts that can't be measured internally. Well, lo and behold, CT scanning can can do all of that, both internally and externally to create a 3D point cloud to do all your GD and T uh, requirements. OK, so what we're going to move to now is a live demonstration because obviously you want to see the machine and less of me talking in presentations. So I'm going to do a very quick two to three minute demonstration of actually scanning a part as an example. But essentially, we're going to take this component, aluminium. You can see the actual size of the component there, quite dense. OK, so as I place the, the component into the CT scanner, on the right hand side is the X-ray source, on the left hand side is the detector, and in the center there's a rotary indexer. I'm going to place the part on the rotary indexer, OK? OK, so what I've done is I've placed the component, as I said, in the rotary indexer. So what will happen is as I turn on the X-ray source and I'll press go now in a second. Um, it's hard to see in the video, but what's going to happen is the part will rotate 360 degrees. OK. So what role does CT play in the manufacturing quality inspection? There's a number of different roles that it can actually play, but the most fundamental one is metrology. So if you have a first article inspection process during your validation of your injection molding tools, for example, or any any tools for that for that matter, and you want to do a full GD and T or dimensional analysis, we can do that. OK, now what that means is you probably have a system measurement system currently in house that you use for your first arc inspection or ISIR. But the reality is you might have multiple different sy systems to do multiple different dimensions. And really what CT scanning can do, it can scan a full component, create a 3D point cloud, and you can do any dimension analysis with that software. OK, and that's really important. So it's one system for all. Tuning validations, I kind of mentioned it uh, as part of your FATs, DQ, IQ, OQ or even PQ. You can actually do CAD overlays. You can overlay your CAD model to the component that you've just scanned and actually see that overlay. Maybe put a surface profile of 0.1, for example, millimeters and see that deviation from the CAD model. R&D, a big part of CT scanning plays a role here. 
reverse engineering, for example, or even doing defect analysis in terms of R&D trialing and development process. So it's very quick and easy in terms of you place the part in, you saw within a couple of minutes I did the scan, and you can actually get the 3D point out very quickly. Uh, quality obviously plays a big role in terms of the manufacturing process. I talked about part to CAD. Well, you can actually do part to part comparison. So if you had a part that you know is good in the process and you want to see the deviation versus that part, you can do an, a part to part overlay. And defect analysis, I already talked about. So be it dimensional analysis or voids, porosities, flash, mismatch, defects, it can all be quantified with that point cloud. What does CT scanning compare to? I, I, I often get asked this question um, from a number of different clients. What does CT scanning compare to? Well, the reality is it doesn't really compare to anything other than other CT scanning uh, capabilities. But I have, for, for the sake of this, assessed well, what's currently on the market in terms of measurement technology and what does it kind of re re relate to? Well, the first might be um, 3D scanning, for example. So 3D scanning you know, does external in terms of scanning, but CT scanning does internal and external, so it gives you an enhanced ability, okay? But this CT scanner has a, has a resolution of up down to two microns. And also look at the inspection volume. So within the, the CT scanner, you can see that we can do a diameter of 180 millimeters and a height of 380 millimeters. Well, that's a pretty big part, to be fair. But in order to achieve the two microns in accuracy, you need to move close to the X-ray source. The further you move away from the X-ray source, the more you compromise your resolution and accuracy. So in order to achieve that two microns in resolution, you bring the part close to the X-ray source and we can stitch multiple images together as you move in the Z axis. And so we don't compromise any accuracy or resolution and we can stitch the images together and bring, bring, bring it apart up to 380 millimeters in height or length, okay? So the weight and size of the machine is something I'm actually quite passionate about. Uh, people don't, when they go look at a CT scan, they look at the technology, but some don't look at actually the footprint in which they're trying to work within. Metrology labs tend to be quite small, you know, across multiple different customers I've been in, uh, in Ireland and the UK, we don't get a huge amount of space, okay? So the reality is what you can see in the top left-hand corner is the footprint of this machine is less than 1.5 meters in width and in depth is less than a meter. That's really important because that can fit through a double door and it can actually go onto a pallet truck or a pump truck because it only weighs 1.2 tons as well. So if you were to look at other competitive systems in the market, you would see very quickly for the same technology or even lesser in terms of technology capabilities, the footprint would be far larger and far heavier, meaning you would have to compromise in your footprint and access to your metrology lab, whereas this could be easily fitted into a compact uh, lab. Some other key, key uh, competitive advantages is the accuracy I talked about already. You can see there in top right hand corner, Oryx Solutions are working on an MPE value towards the end of the year. That'll be released soon. Uh, the helical scanning, which is the stitching I just mentioned, and um, that's in relation to larger parts for high resolution, but actually moving in the Z axis to, without compromising any accuracy. Um, automatic centering of the components. So if you look at existing systems out there as well, um, you actually have to move the part to the center of your rotary table to get the optimal center of the X-ray to get your, your best result. Well, actually, lo and behold, this system, the Easy Tom S, actually has automatic centering. So the software and the axis move together to make sure you can get the center to compare the part via the software automatically. Fixturing. I talked about other systems other than CT. I talked about 3D scanning. Well, if you look at CMMs, for example, fantastic machines in their own right, not directly comparable to CT scanning, to be fair, but we invest a lot of money in fixturing. Um, so designing and manufacturing fixtures for specific parts. Well, you don't require any fixturing here. All you need is polystyrene or something, something to that effect that penetrates the part and, and it doesn't pick it up in the scan. So that's really important, massive cost saving in that respect as well. And we also have a unique ability to do auto loading of multiple components. So within this actual uh, CT scanner on the right hand side, we have a tray where you can load up to 10 parts on the right hand side. And you can see in the image on the PowerPoint, a little bit closer up, you can see the rotary indexer and multiple parts being loaded. What's the value? Well, you can leave the CT scanner on overnight and actually run multiple vari variable parts or even a high volume of the same part. It's your choice. But the main thing is utilization of the machine is built in. Um, another competitive advantage is we're based in the UK and Ireland physically. So Oryx Solutions are in France. We are in the UK and Ireland. So we can provide that local support service very quickly to you guys. 
Okay, and that is very important for rapid response and support. I talked about the footprint and weight already, but it is a distinct advantage um, because it's quite compact. You can see here uh, in relation to the machine, very compact. The cost, I no doubt someone in the chat's going to say, what does it cost? Well, I'll be honest, it's very cost competitive. Why? Because this machine behind me here, with all the accuracy and, and the capabilities that it has, and, and it's distinctively more competitive in terms of its technology than other systems out there, is less than 300,000 euro. That's pretty cost competitive for what it is. So I encourage anyone who's in the headspace of looking at a system to reach out to me, and I will educate you on what the capabilities of this system is, and also what else is on the market there, and see how do we benchmark, not just on cost, but capabilities and technology as well. So why is this why is this technology innovative? Um, well, the first thing is cycle time. I mean, we all want to save time and money. Um, so a scan of a part can be anywhere between two minutes up to hours. It is, depends on the resolution, accuracy, and the size of the component you're looking at. This particular part can be scanned in less than five minutes. Okay, but time and money is really important. The question you need to ask yourself is, what what am I currently using to measure the dimensions, and how long is it taking me? And then challenge me to see how quickly can we do it on the CT scanner. I had a customer recently that was taking five days to do a first arc inspection on a quite a complex part of 100 dimensions. And the reality is we scanned it in two hours and got the results as well within the same period of time. So that's quite powerful in terms of a return investment. Do you have multiple measurement systems to measure your components? So utilization of what you currently have. You might have two or three different systems. You could have a CMM, you could have burners, you could have calibers, you could have 3D scanning, all trying to measure essentially the same thing, just in different areas or access, as some people call it. Well, the reality is a CT scanner, it can access it all down to microns and resolution. So you can get that 3D point cloud and interrogate that. Are you getting a full representation of the part geometry? So a question I always get asked from customers, can you provide me a gauge or an or report? And the reality is absolutely, we, anyone can provide a gauge or an or report, but are you measuring in the right place? You could be repeatable and reproducible, but measuring it incorrectly. And I talked about visualization at the start of the presentation. And the key part here is visualization. You can actually see on the 3D point cloud where you are measuring and obviously get the raw data associated with that. So it really gives confidence to the likes of the quality team, tooling team, R&D team, development, et cetera, that you guys can actually ensure that you're measuring correctly uh, to the CAD and to the part itself, okay? And I just mentioned it there, is visualization important to you and your team? We're living in a digital age, so it is kind of important. You can choose to accept the raw data and trust that that raw data is correct, or you can actually look at a 3D point cloud and get the raw data visually as well. So very powerful in terms of visualization. And then, and to be fair, it's the way we're moving in terms of metrology systems, making it more digital and visualization important. If you currently outsource contract measurements, um, I mean, I mentioned at the very beginning, we do a lot of contract measurement. This machine landed in June of this year, so only about two months ago. Uh, we've been inundated with requests for contract measurement, but Oryx Solutions have supported us as well with the overflow. So I encourage anyone who's interested in doing contract measurement or needs support right now, reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. Let's have a good discussion around that, okay? And to be fair, I've engaged with some customers that believe this technology might actually enable them to attract new business. So I talked about the visualization, I talked about the capabilities, it's an impressive piece of technology. Well, the reality is that when you're pitching business on your end with your customers, it can be really attractive in terms of educating them on what you're doing in terms of technology and innovation improvements. Okay, so what will CT scanning do for you and how can we help? There's a number of different, I will say, services we can offer. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I will highlight the ones which I feel are reflective to the people on this call, okay? And where we can support you very quickly. The first is, is coordinate measurement. So the reality is we can do full GD and T uh, measurements. So dimensional measurements uh, aligned to the CAD model and also write a program associated with that to run. So coordinate measurement or GD and T. CAD comparison, I touched on it earlier on. If you just wanted to overlay your CAD model and the actual 3D point cloud together and actually see the deviation from the CAD model, that can be done very quickly as well. 
development of reverse engineering as quickly as I can scan it is as quickly as I can provide you an STL file. We can also provide step files if needed as well, but essentially as quickly as we can scan is as quickly as we can actually get an output in terms of a 3D point cloud in STL or step format. So very good for reverse engineering or development processes. Assembly inspection. Um, this is really where CT scanning comes into its own. Um, a lot of customers might have an assembled component, which is high in value. A uh, number of different components could be drugs, could be anything involved in terms of that, that assembled component, like an EpiPen, for example. Um, and they want to see if there's any sort of defects within the assembly. So traditionally, metrology or measurement inspection would happen at, at, offline uh, currently. And the reality is then all the measured dimensions are done and it's gone into an assembly or, or so some assembly process. But do we actually understand the influence that the assembly process is having on them dimensions? But it's very hard to answer that question. And CT scanning has the ability to do that for you in terms of doing some re uh, reverse engineering to pull out that, that actual component and do some dimensional analysis on it in its assembled state within the software. So that is non-destructive testing measurement techniques at its best. Porosity and inclusion analysis. Again, I touched on it at the beginning in the aerospace and automotive sectors. Um, porosity and, and, and inclusion analysis is very important to assess for uh, defects in terms of cracks, uh, voids, accessories, uh, and porosity. So it is important in terms of assessing that we can do that as well in terms of a service. And defect analysis, much the same as porosity and inclusion analysis. Defect analysis could be anything in terms of internal defects or external defects. Uh, you know, measuring flash defects, mismatch, anything in terms of uh, deviation away from what the CAD should be. So we can offer any sort of defect analysis services. Okay, so how do you get access to this machine? Okay, so contract scanning services, I talked about already, so subcontract measurement. Send me a drawing or send me a part. I will put my email address at the bottom of this uh, presentation. Um, and just make an inquiry. Let's see, can we help you in terms of contract measurement services? If you're looking to actually purchase the system, um, we'll talk about that in a second, but subcontract scanning services, contact us. I can issue a quotation if, if, if I feel it's, it's worth uh, in terms of the job, if it's a big job, if it's a small job, let's have that good engaging discussion around, is it feasible to look at CT or is something else more applicable? Um, send me your parts, you can send them to the Dublin facility or you can send them to the UK facility. I, I can take it on from there. Um, and then ultimately, we'll give you a scan of results. We'll give you the 3D point cloud. We will also give you a CT scanning viewer free of charge. And that CT scanning viewer gives you the ability to actually do some sections, some simple linear dimensions, you know, lengths, widths, thicknesses, um, and you can section the 3D model as well. So it's really important in terms of, uh, you know, you, enabling you to actually use the, the 3D point cloud and the CT scanning technology, as opposed to us doing it all for you. So we'd like to educate our customers and enable them to use that. OK, um, so send your parts. We like to turn around within two weeks minimum. So people ask how quick is your turnaround? We tend to do it quicker, but I say two weeks just to be safe. OK. In terms of purchasing a system, we have our process within Sempre Group, much the same like contract measurement. So we'll review your measurement challenge and establish what the outcome might be. CT scanning could be the solution, but it's not always the solution. So we work with our customers to, to educate them on what is the most applicable solution in their case. We do a demonstration, so I will walk you through with your part how we do the scan and what the what the dimensions look like, what the 3D point cloud looks like, what the viewer looks like. So I'll walk you through that process before we even engage in a quotation. Then we get to a scope of supply. So we assess well, what is it? It, it? It's it's a 300 grand machine. So we want to make sure we get the scope of supply correct. And that's really important. It's easy to sell a CT scanner, but it's not as easy uh, to walk with the customer throughout the process. Um, so that's really, I want to labor on that because we are pride ourselves in our engineering services. So I want to be able to walk you through what this means to get this technology, and how you can get the optimal uh, usage out of it as well. Ultimately, we then we agree a quotation. Uh, we will deliver, install, calibrate, and train you on the system ourselves, i.e. the separate group, okay? So that's really important as well. I said we are a single point of contact and we pride ourselves on that. We'll, we'll review the scope and continue to support. We offer, we offer gold service contracts, silver contracts, 24 seven support if needed, um, and a number of customers avail of that service as well. Okay, good. So this is the CT scanning viewer, okay, that you're seeing. So if you said to me, Jason, can you scan a part for me? I will send you the actual viewer and the actual file associated with that. 
And this is what it would look like. So the part we looked at at the beginning, which was the aluminium part, that is the scan we actually did, ironically, uh, until the IT glitch. So what you can see there is three, di four different windows. Uh, three of them, in the, which have the black background, is your X, Y, and Z uh, cross sections of the part. So you can scroll through the part, and um, you can do simple linear dimensions, as I said earlier, lengths, widths, thicknesses. And the bottom right-hand corner is the actual 3D point cloud. Okay, so. I mean, the ease of use of the software is very important. This is only the simple uh, GDNT capabilities of the viewer. We do use Polyworks for all our part programming and doing our GDNT of that point cloud. But this is this viewer is really important to enable you, the user, to do some simple analysis yourself. Okay, and that's really important. Okay. Okay. So I know I flew through the webinar, but I kept it fairly high level. And um, so. Again, this is the part we looked at in terms of what was on the 3D point cloud. You can kind of get an idea of the size of the part density and the ease of use in terms of how we scanned it and also then looking at the viewer in terms of the analysis. And um, so, as I said earlier, you place the part on the rotary table. You have X-ray source on the right, detector on the left, rotary table in the center. X-ray penetrates the parts, creates millions of 2D pixel images to create a 3D point cloud. So just while I turn that on, um, I didn't mention the different kilovolts in terms of the X-ray source. So I have customers that come to me in terms of plastic parts, and I would say that the power that they require would be anywhere between 120 kilovolts to 150 kilovolts. This machine here behind me is 150 kilovolts. I then have customers in the aerospace and automotive sector come to me with you know cast iron samples or uh, dense aluminium samples or even uh, titanium. And the requirements there are a little bit higher in terms of the power of the X-ray source because you need more power to penetrate the denser material. So we offer up to 300 kilovolts of an X-ray source, um, which will penetrate a quite dense material. Okay, for the 150 kilovolt machine, um, I tend to give a general guidance to people saying we can penetrate any plastic, we can penetrate 20 millimeters of aluminium and five millimeters of steel. Now that there'll be a give or take on that. Okay. Uh, but there is a flexibility in terms of the different systems that you can avail of. Okay. So again, if you can see behind me, um, within within the actual window, the part is actually rotating there and doing the scan for you. Okay. So I'm open to questions now. I'm sure there's, there's a good few questions. So, okay. What is the size limit for the components? Um, so I mentioned earlier on 180 millimeters in diameter, uh, 380 millimeters in height. OK. Oh, thumbs up. I like that. Very good. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, next one is, can it scan different material at the same time? Yes is the answer. OK. But we have real working examples. OK. So the reality is, if you have a, let's say, an overmolded part, let's say you had a steel part with an overmold of plastic, that's a challenge. But if you had an assembled part, which had springs, for example, syringes and plastic, yes, we absolutely can differentiate between them. There's a little bit of manual input per, okay? So a little bit of manual input um, in terms of that uh, capabilities, but it is possible is the answer. Uh, next question is from Les. Are your systems capable of scanning micro lens units maximum diameter of 2.5 millimeters down to 1.5 millimeters thickness? With a concave profile? The answer is yes, I will eat that up. Send me the samples. Okay. Um, what is the max kilovolts of this system? And do ORX solutions provide a range of CT scanners from Darren? Okay, yes. So I did ask, I did mention that at the begins, or sorry, at the end, apologies. But the answer is yes, up to 300 kilovolts. Okay. Um, and we do offer larger working volumes as well. I talked about at the beginning there 180 diameter and 380 in length. Well, the reality is we can go to way bigger samples. So if you had engine blocks, for example, uh, we can absolutely do that as well. But you're getting into bigger costs, bigger systems. But yes, it is possible. OK, uh, what are the calibration requirements? Um, how, how many visits per year? Uh, once per annum, uh, the cost is about 5,000 uh, per year. Um, so it's 5,000 is a one-off cost. Um, you, you do get a verification artifact for yourself that you can run at any moment or any time. So we typically say once per week. Um, but in terms of an annual service, uh, we do it once per, per year. OK. Uh, next one's from Richard. Does the machine have automatic reconstruction software of the collected images? Yes, is the answer. So that's what we would have shown when I scanned the part 
and the software actually did the uh, reconstruction uh, for itself. We actually have a wizard within the software, Richard, which brings you step by step. So there may be circumstances like what someone said about the different materials. So there's a wizard that walks you through the process and um, you can do it manually or go to the wizard. We use the wizard. It's very easy. OK, uh, Stuart, does the figure of 300,000 include li all licenses, bolt on to the CT scanner, no hidden costs? Oh, th this is a funny one because having bought CT scanners in the past, the number of line items could, could, could nearly be uh, too long to, to even read through. The reality is, yes, that includes all everything in less than 300,000. The only caveat I have to that, Stuart, is if you said to me, I want Polyworks as a license, that is an add-on, okay? But everything from a CT scanning capabilities, including the viewer, the scanner, everything, calibration, all less than 300K, okay? Uh, next one from William. Uh, for tight tolerance requirements, are there methods required to decrease the un uncertainty of geometrical reconstruction, e.g. spheres with known distances in the measurement volume? Yes. So, William, the answer to this um, is the artifact that you'd be given. OK, so the artifact you'd be given will be a, say, calibration sphere of a known standard. You will scan that as your verification. Say, yep, I'm good to go. OK, um, in terms of the MPE, so maximum permissible error, I mentioned that already. We will be issuing that by the, before the, the year is out as well in terms of our calibration certificates for CT scanning. So that brings more credibility. Uh, OK, Connor, great presentation. Thank you. Um, William, again, is export to neutral analysis packages VG uh, VG possible to image tanks. OK, I should have mentioned this. Apologies. We can export to any 3D analysis software. Really important, OK? There are some CT suppliers out there that will tie you up in their own CT analysis software. We don't. You can use VG. You can use uh, Polymetrics. You can use uh, Polyworks. You can use any of them. And the beauty of that is we're universal. So we can integrate with any of them. Um, next question from Calvin. Uh, what is the typical dose that a part might receive? What is what is the typical dose that a part might receive? I'm lost on that one, Calvin. So come back to me on that one. Dose um, of what is your I guess. Say again, Emily. Like a dose of X-rays. I guess that means like what? Yeah, dose maybe, it's the, maybe, maybe it's the maybe maybe the kilovolts. So we range range from uh, 120 kilovolts up to 300 kilovolts. I hope that answers uh, Calvin's question. If not, uh, maybe give him more detail. Um, so what is your turnaround time for scanning a small batch of lens units? OK, it's going to, going to depend on the size and the quantity. We can actually do multiple parts of one scan. OK, so that's pretty important, guys. So if you actually want to do 10 small parts in one scan, we can segregate them out. So that's really important. So the turnaround time is going to be lessened because we can fit smaller parts in the actual one scan. So what I'd say, Les, is send me an email with parts, quantities and some details and I'll, I'll chase it up for you. Are there any legal health and safety requirements in order to have one of these systems on site? Rory, yes, there is. Um, it's it's a requirement from your, your on-site EH&S. Um, so you will be get a certificate for X-ray compliance or radiation compliance. It's actually a standard that, that uh, for example, in Ireland, they'll come knocking on your door anyways. But trust me, we'll support you on the risk assessment associated with that. I often used to get told by our CT scanning uh, colleagues many years gone by, you'll get more X-ray radiation off eating a, eating a banana than actually standing beside these machines. Okay. Um, Lola, uh, what do you think? What do you think its role of CT scanning on the electrification of power trains? Lola, you're going to have to send me more information. I'll absolutely look into it. Send me some images, drawings, etc. What you're thinking, and I'll take it offline. Uh, last one from Calvin. Uh, X-ray absorbed dose in sieverts or grays. I'm not following that. Oh, that was relates to the previous question. Calvin, same as Lola. Send me more details in terms of the drawing, images, uh, dimensional requirements, whatever it might be. And we'll take it offline and I'll go through it in detail with you personally. OK, that was a lot of questions. I didn't expect that. So I appreciate the engagement, guys. Um, we had over 100 people attend um, register for the webinar. I don't know what the number is, Emily, for this, but it looked like it was over 50 anyway. Um, so it was a little bit amateur ish. So I apologize if it's not the perfect presentation. Um, we had a little bit of a glitch halfway through. But honestly, I want to thank absolutely everyone for the opportunity uh, to log on and actually get engaged and be educated a little bit on CT scanning and it's capable uh, in the uh, manufacturing process. Please reach out to me, whether it's a, an email, phone call, whatever it might be, semi parts, etc. Reach out and I'll support you guys in relation to whatever it might be. OK, thank you very much, guys, and uh, we'll be in touch soon.